Hello on YouTube, welcome to another video. You join me with a problem, and it's a problem that can only be solved by one thing, and it's something that I've never done before. But, because it's the Audi, I don't mind having a go. And it's something that I've wanted to learn for a while, so what is it? Where, where is it? There it is, look. Jesus. Now the problem is, the exhaust pipe on the car, it's blowing right after where the turbo is. So the turbo comes down and it goes into a catalytic converter, and then it goes down and the rest of the exhaust is fine but it's where it comes off the turbo there's a little flexi and it's gone the flexi's gone so this is the exhaust pipe that I bought last year to, to fix the Audi I thought this would just be a bolt off the original thing and bolt this bolt this on you might be able to tell why it didn't work so this side here goes onto the back of the uh, turbo flange comes out and then goes down to the rest of the exhaust here now on my car this nice lovely little flange we don't have it. There's no flange there. On my car, the exhaust seems to come down and just run, run to the middle. I'll show you. Right, we're under the car. So there's my exhaust pipe. Look, you can see it coming from the back towards the front. Now this is where that flange should be, and there's nothing there. See, there's my exhaust flexi there. That's what's broken. But unfortunately, no flangey. Never welded anything before. I never touched the torch before. Watched a few YouTube videos. How hard can it be? Obviously, I've been in the need of, of the man with the metal torch for a while, so if it's a skill I can learn, then we're laughing, right? Now, the way I'm going to approach it is getting that exhaust off of that car, bolting that to it, the test pipe. I'm going to start calling it the new car. This is our new catalytic converter. So, we're going to bolt this to the turbo flange on the car with the existing exhaust off. And then we're going to cut the original exhaust around here-ish, cut this flange off here and then try and do some tacks so I'm going to try and tack the weld it's getting technical I know but and then we're going to take it off the car completely try and get it somewhere where we can get it kind of sat together and then try and weld it together sounds fun right well just had a look at the stock exhaust and it's pretty crusty but it looks like we might be able to uh, disconnect it down the middle there's a bit of a dodgy looking clamp there uh, the problem is it's really crusty though so I'm thinking that when I undo this centre clamp, it might just deteriorate and fall into a few pieces. But we're going to try and take it off there. So we've got three bolts on the exhaust to the turbo flange. Um, well, the output flange of the turbo, I think. Might even look, to be honest. I think that's what it is. So it, probably. And then we'll try and get the exhaust on our way down. So, first task. Success. Maybe we'll clean this clamp up a little bit. It's a bit dutty. Right. So, just uh, need to unbolt it from the front now and she should be off. All exhaust. Old. Knackered flexi. Hello, I am a flex joint, but I am broken right now, so I cannot talk to you, sorry. So I got an advisory for this on the MOT last year. So I was always gonna fix it, and then I bought the pipe straight away. But, as we can see, the is different. Now the end flange, that one, they're the same. I've even got new gaskets, I even bought two new gaskets because I thought this would have a flange on it, but obviously it hasn't. So, to reiterate what our task is for today, I'm going to bolt this to the car, cut this just after there somewhere, try and tack it, and then take it off the car and finish the weld. The flex is a bit smaller on this one, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I figured the next logical step would be to cut the flanges off. Just double check it's the right flange that you've 
cut off as well, you know. Fortunately it is. Right, well that's metal. Definitely. Definitely metal. We'll have to do some clean up stuff. We're gonna basically pretending to be a metal fabricator today. But we'll have a go. So that's cut off. So that's the flange that goes on the servo. So that's the bit that we're gonna be trying to weld to. I might clean it up a little bit. Doesn't really look like it's gonna be long enough. Right, I'm gonna cut it right as far up as I can because it, it kind of looks. I cut this as far back as I could on the flange, but almost looks like it's not gonna be long enough. So that could be interesting. So we best hope now that not this bit, but that bit's long enough. I don't think you can stretch. Weld, can you? Can I weld over an inch? Now these aren't perfectly flat where I've cut them. I've tried to clean them up a little bit, but this one's got a right angle on it. This is this is quite more flat, but you know I've been trying not to take too much off of it because I do believe we are going to be slightly short. But we can only try, and maybe that middle clamp where it's bridging the gap. Um, in the middle, maybe we can use that to our advantage and try and get another inch one way or the other. But everything's cleaned up ish now. I should be able to tack to that, I think. I don't know, but maybe we'll see. So, get this bolted back on, get this something like, and then um, press, the, press the thing. <coughs> okay, we're in trouble. Let me show you. So, it might be bodgeable, but. Let me let you into my layer. So I've got my old friend Tranny Jack out and he's holding up my exhaust somewhat. Now, as you can see, if I lift that up, can you see? I oh, know, when it shudders, aren't we? I think you can just about see. So when I, when I lift that up, roughly about there, there's about an inch gap that side, right? And then when we come down to this side, which is where the center of the exhaust joins together. Now, can we actually use that? It's a bit dodgy, but if you see, this clamp's probably about six inch long. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, it's about six inch long, this clamp. Um, so we might be able to use it to our advantage, and it's a bit dodgy, but it's pretty solid. It's it's walled just like an exhaust. I know it looks corroded and stuff. It is corroded, but it seems pretty solid. So I'm gonna try and bodge it with this, basically. So what I'm gonna do is try and tack the front, and then we'll see just how much of a gap there is at this side. Now I say tack the front like it's a simple thing that I've done before, but what's this going to be like up here with all this stuff? Not oil and mess and that. Now obviously the rotation of the exhaust is quite important because that'll set the angle that it comes down at. So we'll have to be careful. If you're curious what beast we're using, it's this one. It's got far too many settings for me. But it does say turbo. It's a MIG welder as well, so it's got a big bottle of gas on the back and then a, a torchy boy. That's a torchy boy. So, I might have a practice with this first actually. That sounds like a, a thing that you should probably do, eh? I'll try and find something to have a go at welding together and then we'll we'll try that first before going ham on the uh, only bit of exhaust pipe I've got for this car. Let's have a testicle. I've got something for us to have a play with. So that's the original flexi and output flange from the, the turbo. And that's the um, flange that we cut off that we didn't need to use because we're not going to use it. So what we're going to try and do is weld those two together. Just had the thought that because this flex is broken, we might not be able to earth it properly. But how actually connected is that? Not very, I don't think. So what are we going to do? Right, decided to get rid of the uh, flexi. So we're just going to do flange to flange. It's a bit better that circle and I didn't reckon the earth was going to do anything and I was a bit worried so flange to flange. Is that a good angle? You have to mind this S13 subframe which is uh, just chilling. Right you can see the welder, you'll be able to see me. Oh fucking get steady. Oh that's nice and steady. 
I'm doing some engineering because I'm, I'm cutting there's a little ball on the end, so I'm gonna snip that off like a pro. Right. If I understand rightly, and based on what I've seen on when people do welding and that, they normally just go like that when they're tacking. So we'll get it. I don't know if I should put the glove on or not because I know it's going to be hot. So I've got it earthed on the table and I'm hoping that's enough for it to go through the uh, through the vise. But we don't know yet. Now what I'm going to try and do is hold that and, and do that. Is that bad? Is that going to burn? There's a lot of energy going through here. Obviously you're fucking melting metal together. So there is some big old gloves there. I might put the big old glove on this one. There's uh, two gloves here. And they're both right hands. First world went well. This keeps um, getting stuck. Not quite there. That welded itself shut now, the end of this. Yes. We're almost back in business, just so you can see the old first weld. Ooh, she looks like a good one. Very nice. It's been a bit of a tussle, but finally got some wire out the end of this. Uh, setting up a welder takes a while. Or maybe it's just this one, but she's there now. First welding mistake, forgot to turn the gas back on after fixing the machine. Did you hear that? Now things are getting real hot and interesting looking now because I'm doing the look at the state of that. But I've turned the gas on now, so it might be better. It's actually welded at the minute. Look at that. Don't look at that bit there obviously, but decided it'd be a good idea to do it from the inside because I could see it. And then we'll, we'll try and bridge this gap here where that nasty big bit of blob is. Yeah, sound good? Oh, keep premature ejaculating. Don't lead me through the night. I need some. Okay, the results are in. How did the first welding experience go? Well, I want to stick this flange together, if you'll remember. And you might see that it doesn't look too bad. I mean, what is it they say? Pigeon shit and all that? I mean, it's messy as fuck, but it's solid, it's together, right? Not so lucky on the other side. It's still right hot though, so I try not to touch it too much. But, oh yeah. I don't know what happened on this side, but it weren't very right happy. And then I thought, oh, I can just stick that back together, that big hole, and then it, it just got bigger. So it wasn't that big to start with, but there we go. So, I mean, we're about 75% welded up. So that's all right, isn't it? One thing that's took me by surprise by all of this is just how hot everything gets. Obviously, when I've had welding done on cars before, everyone's always been like, oh, get everything away or else it'll set on fire. I'm not surprised with the amount of heat that's in that just now, just in my hand. And that was only about five minutes ago that I welded it, so, you know, it's still retaining loads of heat. Look at that, you can just see it. Oh, yeah, on that corner. Lovely stuff, absolutely beautiful. So we've had this practice, we're feeling confident. Let's get on to the real deal. Right, I hope you're ready to witness the fitness, because this is looking promising. Can you see under here? just about I know it's dark but there's the big old exhaust pipe look and I've put that clamp back on now I can't see 
how far each bit of the exhaust in the clamp but it's in enough for it to be on I've not tightened it up so I'm gonna presume that I can use all of what I've currently got and then when we come up here now where I've cut that pipe I tried to keep as much of it as I could but you see the lower part of it sticks out just a bit too much now what I'm gonna to have to do now is just take a little bit off here to try and make that flatter but as you can see we're right on there we're, we're right on there we might be able to make this work and that clamp I mean it's it's loose there but I'm thinking it's in I'm thinking it's in if not we'll weld it up here because this is the main part isn't it and then that clamp thing if it's not long enough we'll just fucking weld it shut that sounds like a plan doesn't it hey so yeah I need to take just a little bit off of here so that's a bit more flush and then I should be able to tack it um, can't do this in situ or shall I pull it out <laughs> yeah we'll just, we'll just pull it out see it was only in there about half an inch or something but that might be enough alright we're looking good under here now I forgive you for thinking it's already welded shut it's not it's just absolutely fucking mint on there can you see a gap can you see a gap so I spent some time with the flappy wheel on the grinder just trying to make sure that the exhaust pipes were something like so using the transmission jack and it's nice and straight as well now what I'm thinking about now is where I'm going to earth it I don't know if I should have cleaned off a bit of the exhaust pipe and, and earthed to that uh, perhaps or maybe I can just try just try clamping it on here maybe I need to clean it up first well I've cleaned up one side of the exhaust just there and I'm going to try and earth to that is that going to work? If I'm welding this piece, I need the charge to go through here, I need to earth through here, right? So, maybe it might work. This is a really new weird thing for us all, I'm sure. Well. So the gap isn't as small as what I thought it would be. It probably looks pretty small there, but it opens up to like maybe three mil in some places. So that's not ideal. But while it's tacked at this side, I should just be able to fucking wrestle it with a hammer. Now we look at the tacks. Hmm. For some reason the end of the welder kept getting like gunked up. So it'd have like a weld on the end of the uh, torch and I'd have to get the clippers out and snip that off. But did my best, I got it to stick together, I'm happy with that, that's better than what I would have been able to do yesterday, so we're making moves. Right, it's time for the main event, we're going to try and finish this weld off. I, well, it's, it's not looking great at the minute and we've got a couple of gaps that aren't looking ideal either, but I mean, I'm just going to point the thing at it, keep clipping the wire, hopefully we'll get somewhere and in the end we can just grind it anyway to make sure it looks nice. All we want to do is for it to be sealed, we're not obviously looking for it to look nice. A lot would be nice if it if it didn't look like total shit. That would be nice, but we're not we're not going for that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put you in a nice position where you can see just about. I get my torch on. We'll go for a zoom, I think. And then uh, yeah, wish me luck. Let's go. Right, well, I've got it about halfway done, I think. I've got a massive hole on one side, though, so that's not ideal. So I'm at a stage now where I'm just going to try and bung up with the rest. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if it's going to work or not. There's no metal there now, and I could really do with there being some metal there, so... I guess we'll see what happens. I'll let you have a look at it. That one there. Ooh, she's pretty girthy like I know. I know it's a decent, decent gap. Sorry for the music being loud and that, but... Let's have a go at this. Alright, I think you got all the holes sealed at least. It's uh, not looking pretty, but this is that, that's the worst bit, right? And then it, it gets slightly better as we go around. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. I mean, we weren't expecting perfection, but as long as there's no holes, right? 
And I'm going to tidy it up now. I'm going to put the um, floppy wheel on the grinder and just try and take away all that mess to make it look neater. But hopefully there's no holes when I'm done that. Fucking pretty happy with that. I know it looks like shit and everything, but you know, first first time. I've mentioned it's my first time welding yet. That looks better. Now there are one or two tiny holes that I found, but what I can't find is where the actual um, gap is or where, where the original um, crack was. Well, what, what, what am I trying to say? I can't see where the pipes originally touched, if that makes sense, which is good, right? But there are one or two little holes, which I presume are from when we were trying to fill that gap. But you know, they're, they're tiny, tiny, but I may as well try and plug them up while we've got it off, so I'm going to go and do that and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Right, those holes are all patched up just about. Let me tell you, it's very easy to blow through when you're trying to bodge a bodge. <laughs> trying to make a bodge less bodgy. But I've got no more holes, that's nice. It, it looks a bit rough, it looks like someone's done it who wouldn't know how to weld, but I mean that's a fair... Fair comment, isn't it? It's a fair review of that. We'd be happy if someone said, oh, it looks like you've never welded before, but, you know, at least it's together, which it is. It's fucking solid, that, now. I mean, I, don't, I can't really show you. Oh, right. All that's left to do now, then, is to get this... I keep thinking. I'm not sure how to test these. I've blown... I've, like, I put my lips around it and blown through originally, but it's still a bit hot at the minute, so... I can't... I can't tell. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're good. I think, I think it's done. I've said that enough times now. I'm going to refit it, make sure it fits, because we don't know that yet. We don't know if that clamp's going to be long enough on the other side. So I'll not video it, but I'll go and try and fit it, and then I'll let you know if it fits or not. I'm sure it will, because all that engineering that we did earlier, you know, we're going to get it, we're going to, we're going to work. This is going to fit. This is, this is going to be good. Do I need to paint that? I'll, I'll just let it go rusty, won't we? We'll just let it go rusty and then seal itself up with uh, corrosion. Now I just thought I'd show you what that gap's like on the uh, centre of the exhaust. So she's bolted in at the front and then she comes down here. Now, do you remember, um, I said originally I thought I might not have enough room to put this all the way in. Now that's the gap. You see it's not perfect. The angle probably could have done with being rotated ever so slightly, but the gap is it's about an inch and a half, two inch. So the gap between the two pipes is probably about half the size of this clamp that's going over the top of them. Um, it still sleeves over nice. Exhaust still feels okay-ish. Let me sleeve it over and I'll show you. Right, I haven't put the nuts on yet, but as you can see, the clamp's on. It's not hitting this. There's still a good inch and a half inch gap there, which is nice. These shift rods shouldn't really be there and this heat shield's actually fallen down further than what it should be, so that heat shield should be up a bit. Um, but it's not even touching that, it's, it's clear, I don't know if you can see that, but I can get my finger down that gap. Now, obviously those clamps aren't tight, so it's not a good idea, but even with the clamps not being tight, the only thing it's hitting is that shift rod. It's not hitting that centre brace. So, I don't think I can ask for much more than that, really. That's been really good. I'm fucking chuffed, to be honest. I can't believe I fucking used the metal welder thing. That's good. Right, I'm going to nip these bolts up on the clamp, and then hopefully it'll all go real fucking stiff. Right. That's it finished, boys. Nice and tight now, isn't she? Still got plenty of room and not hitting out. That's one thing that I was concerned about would be the getting the rotation right on this. So my original plan was to take this off and get someone to sort it out for me, but I'm gonna have to start learning how to do this weldy stuff because I'm always stuck for needing something welding. So we can start somewhere though, right? I'm chuffed with that. Job jobbed. Well, that brings us to the end. So we've ticked a job off on the Audi, which is good. That's something that I've been meaning to do myself for about a year. Um, certainly before the next MOT was due, I needed to get that done. And my plan was to get someone else to do that. I was a bit stuck when I saw it didn't have a flange on, but we have got a welder here and I should have um, perhaps used it before now, but today's the best day to start doing anything, isn't it? So we've started, that's good. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me have a go. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing some more stuff soon. I've not ordered any of the bits for it yet, but that's pending. I've been in touch with Mixed Garage 
which I've not done for a while. So just trying to build the bridges again, but we'll see what happens there. If not, eBay single mass, I think. So you've enjoyed watching me weld as much as I've enjoyed having a go. It's been good fun. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. But what will it be? Nobody knows. That's the game you play on this channel. Could be an hourly. It'll probably be an hourly. I like doing things together. And then when they're done, then we'll move on to something else. So most likely it'll be an hourly video again next. But you just don't know. So I'll see you then. Get your popcorn at the ready. It could be fucking anything. We could be welding a space frame on the DC too, for all you know. <laughs> right, goodbye. Thanks for coming. Shut the door on your way out. Thanks.